Hi everyone, uh, my name is Matt Williams, I'm the Access Fellow at Jesus College and I'm here with my lovely counterpart at St Catharines, Stefan Williams, no relation, don't you think? No, I don't think there's a relation, <laughs> probably, I don't know. Um, I'm the Outreach Officer here at St Catharines, so kind of one of Oxford's newest colleges and also happy to be part of the Oxford Cymru Consortium alongside Jesus and New. So we're very excited about that and doing lots of uh, outreach stuff in Wales, which is where I'm from incidentally. Um, I'm from Pushelli in North Wales. I'm a Welsh speaker as you can tell by my little lanyard and um, yeah so really happy to be part of the whole thing absolutely so if you are from Wales if you're a Welsh teacher or student and you want to know inf more information then drop us a note in the description below and check out the Oxford Cymru website which is now online all right and we're getting on a tour so thanks so much to Stefan yes I'm gonna try and show you around on what is a bit of a dark and gloomy January day but hopefully uh, the Sun might come out to greet us at some point you ready looking forward to it uh, so as I said, welcome to St Catharines, so obviously very different to what you might picture Oxford to be like in your head. Um, it's made, made mainly of like concrete, steel, glass, that type of thing, um, and it was built in the 60s, so by Oxford standards very, very young. In fact, it's I think one of the youngest undergraduate colleges and the biggest undergraduate college as well. We've got about 500 students all living here on site, um, and in fact 95% of our undergraduate students do live on site for all three years which is really nice. Um, as you can see it is a bit of a great day today but I hope that cats will shine through uh, nonetheless. We're going to now go and have a look at the bar, the common room and the hall hopefully so follow me. So we're now in the JCR so the junior common room which is basically like a big living room for all the undergraduate students. So you've got lots of tables and chairs to chill out, um, we've got TV with all the sports channels, uh, coffee machine over there, uh, and it's just like a really nice place for people to relax and chill with their friends. There's loads of stuff always going on in here, lots of like um, events that the students put on, and it's just a really nice environment to be in. We're very lucky that we've got a very big common room, which is connected, if you follow me through here, to our also very big bar. The theme at Cats is very big, everything is the biggest, and we're very lucky to have a big um, spacious bar. Um, it's open every evening and um, yeah, really nice place to relax as well. And just through here, if you follow me, if the camera follows around, great. Um, we've got our games room, which is also massive. Um, pool tables, uh, table football, loads of sofas, dart boards, and normally there's like a PlayStation and an Xbox here as well. So lots of stuff to be getting on with and you're never short of stuff to do. We've also got lots of societies, so like music, drama, uh, lots of sports clubs. And uh, if a society doesn't exist, you can always start one up yourself and there's lots of funding available for that as well. So, um, you know, work hard, play hard, I think is the mantra at Oxford. And there's so much stuff you can get on to get on doing and it's just a great place to, to be. So we're now in the hall, the dining hall, um, which as you can see is absolutely cavernous. Um, Matthew behind the camera just said it looks like an evil villain's lair, which I think is quite funny. Um, you might recognise it from The Crown. The Crown was filmed here. Well, not all of it, obviously, bits of it. Um, and they serve three hot meals a day, really good quality and really cheap. And we're also very lucky that everything is pay as you go. So you just load money up onto your university card and tap and go, basically. And there's so much variety, all like, well, I, I think the vast majority of dietary requirements are catered for and um, yeah there's there's some something that you'll find something that you like here basically yeah so we're now on the main quad so the main quadrangle so it's basically a triangle that's square that's all that it is and i think every oxford college has got one and it houses all of our student accommodation so in the first and the third year you'll be uh, most likely living here so the rooms as you can see they kind of go down that way and then they go down that way and there's 16 staircases or kind of blocks in total um, and they're really nice rooms so as you can see they're really bright and airy um, there's lots of uh, light and it's just really nice bright place to be um, and you've got shared bathrooms and shared kitchens in the second year which I'll show you just later on um, you get en suites which is quite kind of a nice taste of luxury um, but generally speaking kind of very nice communal living everybody gets along and it's just a really nice place to be and really close to the social area and the hall and everything else so I'm now whispering because we're in the library, which is a really uh, peaceful place to do your work. It's also one of the biggest of any Oxford colleges. As you can see, there is a theme here at Cats. Um, I think we've got about 60,000 books and we have uh, lovely librarians who will help you um, find whichever books that you need. And uh, we've also got lots of desks up on the back and kind of around that way as well for you to do your work. Um, it's open pretty much all day and um, yeah, just a really nice relaxing place to work. So we're now in the gym. We have a, an on-site gym that is uh, free for all members of the college, um, minus a little induction fee of three pounds. And it's open 24/7, and it's got really, it's really well equipped. Don't ask me what any of this is because I have absolutely no idea. 
Um, and now I'm going to go and show you the um, cardio area as well. So we've got some treadmills, uh, rowing machines, cross trainers, spinning bikes, that type of thing. And it's all on site for you to use. So in addition to all of these pieces of equipment here, we've also got two squash courts just behind me. Uh, so we're really lucky to have a really well equipped gym and sports facilities at the college. Uh, we've also got playing fields, about a 10 minute walk away. And there's, as I said earlier, loads of different sports clubs to get involved in, including rowing, uh, tennis, rugby, football, netball, all sorts of stuff. So we're now in the music room, which has not one, but two grand pianos. I have no idea why. Um, and here people will um, practice their instruments, but also uh, take part in groups and orchestras and bands and that type of thing as well. There's also a choir that you can get involved in. And if, if you yearn for a bit more, there's always loads of stuff to do at a university level as well that you can get stuck into. So yeah, so much stuff to, to go and get involved in. So this is where all of our second years live, uh, in the new quad. So we've got an old quad and a new quad, very imaginatively named. And these rooms all have en suites. They all have big windows that open and they're all uh, really nice rooms, basically. Um, and then behind us, if we spin around, we have our new uh, graduate centre. So if you'll be doing a course that's four years or more, or if you'll be joining CATS as a graduate, this will be your kind of social space. So we've got seminar rooms on the bottom and then big bar at the top so lots of lots of facilities lots of stuff to again lots of societies and things to get involved with as well and yeah I think that kind of concludes everything thank you for watching and uh, yeah if you've got any questions let us know let Oxford Cymru know or let cats know and we're very happy to, to help out thank you very much